In 2002, we sank a 172-foot freighter in about 90 feet of water. As soon as it hit the bottom, we geared up and followed it down. Upon arrival at the wreck, bubbles still rising through the decks, we could see the whole outside of the wreck was already inhabited by young damselfish, one quarter to half grown. At the time, I suspected the speed and number of damsels moving to the wreck was caused by a housing shortage. I would come to find out the issue was more overpopulation. Damselfish, they are lots of fun to watch on scuba dives. They fit well in saltwater aquariums. We love them. Being highly territorial, they are one of the few fish that interact with people. Coral reef ecologists don't love them so much. Their habit of biting coral until it dies is one of several reasons coral is in decline. In the 90s, several scientists documented coral loss due to an overabundance of damselfish. When damsels first came to humans' attention, it was noted that they lived in Acropora coral stands. Acropora coral is commonly known as elkhorn or staghorn coral. Elkhorn only grows in shallow waters. This is staghorn. It grows in both shallow and deeper waters. Acropora corals were once the most common species of coral, covering vast tracts of reef. Then, for some reason or series of unfortunate events, these corals started to die off and by 2006 ended up listed as an endangered species. This die-off of coral essentially evicted the damselfish to the rest of the reef. I am convinced that it was predation pressure that forced the damsels to remain in their Acropora homes. Damsels accelerated the decline of the Acropora reef by their habit of biting on coral to make room for their lawns, the effect of their biting looking a lot like coral disease. As they moved out into the general reef, damselfish set up territories in less and less ideal terrains. They were free to do so because of the lack of predators. Populations of damselfish became so dense they started to degrade the reef in all areas of their range. I have included links in the description area to two studies blaming high damselfish density to reef decline. These studies were done in the 1990s, before lionfish colonized the areas. The studies would have collected very different data if they had been done in the late 2000s after lionfish arrived. The lionfish ate all the damsels that were in marginal territories. A good damselfish territory has room for their lawn, access to the current, and a number of hiding places with more than one entrance. Marginal territories, those missing one or more of these elements, left the damsels vulnerable to lionfish predation. Damsels in good territories survive and reproduce. We are now on the third generation of damselfish since lionfish have reached our reefs. While the population density of damsels is lower, they are in no danger as they have learned to live and breed under this new condition and in the presence of this formerly unfamiliar predator. Damselfish not only recognize lionfish as predators, but they know the precise distance a lionfish can strike from and can stay just out of reach. Those that get eaten are just the ones normally subject to Darwinian selection. I hope you liked this admittedly brief video. Please share it around. Polite discussion is welcome in the comment section below. Feel free to use the like button. This is Fred Riger, under the water off Grand Bahama, with my thoughts from the deep.